Before I begin, I just want to give a quick reminder that customers should base their purchasing decisions on products and services that are generally available. Hi everyone, my name is Aditya and I'm a lead developer advocate here at Salesforce. In the previous video, you've seen how to create a data model and how Salesforce automatically creates data view and entry screens for each object that you create. In this video, let's see how you can customize those screens that Salesforce has pre-created. In fact, not just that, almost every aspect of what you see in the Salesforce UI can be customized. Let's see how. So first, let's go to the tab you created for the vehicle object. Here, you can see that it shows a list of recently viewed records. This is called a list view that essentially lets you see a list of records. I can then create a list view right from this page. Give it a name and specify who can see this view. And just like that, a new list view is created. Next, I can update the existing filters or add new ones. So here I want to only see the available vehicles. So in the filter, I'll select the field status, operator equals, value available. Then I can also customize the fields that are displayed in this view. So let me select model, price, win, and then save. So that's how you create list views. Next, let's go to the detail page. The Salesforce UI follows a component based architecture. So everything that you see on the screen is a component. Now to change the look and feel of this page, I can click edit page. This takes you to what is called the app builder, which is a what you see is what you get interface that allows you to drag and drop different components to create an experience that you want. On the left hand side, you can see all the standard components that we give you out of the box. You can also create custom components using lightning web components about which you'll learn about a little bit later. But whatever custom components you create will be shown in this custom section. And finally, just like you have the App Store or Google Play Store to download pre-built apps for your phones, we have the App Exchange that has a ton of pre-built apps, solutions and components that you can just install in your Salesforce Arc. So once you install an app, any components from those apps will be shown in the custom managed section. Now each component that you add to the screen has its own settings. So if you click on a component, let's say the highlights panel, you can further customize it. So let me change the number of visible actions from 10 to three. And you can immediately see those changes being reflected in the view. For each component, you can also define the visibility criteria to conditionally hide and show these elements based on various parameters. So a lot of flexibility is given at a component level. Now let us drag and drop a few components. Let's say the standard activity component and then the vehicle image custom component that shows a picture of the vehicle. I can also create multiple tabs within this page so that I show the most important information to the user at first and then they can click on any one of these tabs to see the additional info. So here in the secondary tab, I'm adding a list of related objects. So these related objects are the ones that either have a lookup or master detail relationship to the current object about which you have learned in the previous video. Now, once I'm happy with my changes, I can also see how this layout appears on the phone. So yes, this page is responsive and almost all of the designs in Salesforce are responsive as well. Now that I'm good with this layout, I can save it. So I was able to customize and add everything that I needed on the page. But how do I customize the record details that are shown here? If you see, it's just a record detail component. Now the fields on the detail component can be customized by what is called a page layout, which you can find right here or from the page layout section for the object in the object manager. 
So what a page layout does is it controls the fields and related lists that are shown. It again has this drag and drop interface for you to add what you want. So let me just drag and drop this status and created by fields onto the layout. Now at the individual field level that I have just dragged and dropped, I can control whether the field is required or read only. So let me just say the status is required. Let me also add the cases related list to the layout and save. So in this way, you can create different page layouts depending on your need. You'll have to use this page layout assignment button to assign different page layouts to different profiles, meaning that you get to control which user sees which layout. Now that I've made my changes to the page layout, let me go back to the app builder. And if I refresh the page, I can see that the page layout changes are already in effect. I'm able to see the new status and created by fields. Now to roll out this new app builder page to users, I need to activate it. So during the activation process, I can choose who sees this page. There are different options, but let me just assign it as the org default for now, meaning that everyone in the org can see this page. And then I can select the form factors on which this page should be seen. I'll review my changes and then click save. So now if I go back to the detail page, I can see all the changes that I made are in effect. Now imagine this, instead of cars, I also want to store bikes on the vehicle object. And most of the fields are the same, but a bike doesn't have an interior color, range or a wheel type, just as an example. It has some other fields, let's say like the muffler color. Apart from these fields, everything else on the page is the same. So what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to sort two types of vehicles on the same object. And based on the type, I need to show different fields. So how do I do this? So to do this, I create what are called record types. From the object manager, I click on record types and I create a new record type for car. I just accept the default settings and I create another record type for bike. Make it active, accept the defaults and save. Now if I go back to the vehicles tab and I click on new, it will ask me to first select the record type that we have just created. But notice, even though I select bike, the same fields as car are showing. As I mentioned earlier, if you need to change the fields on the record detail or the record new form, you need to create page layouts. So let me go back to setup and add a new layout for the bike. So in this layout, I remove the fields that I don't need for bike and add the ones that I need. Now that I've saved this page layout, I need to assign it. So I click on the page layout assignment button. And now you can see that it's not just based on profile, but you can also assign page layouts based on record types. It's now a matrix. So I'm going to assign the bike layout to the bike record type for all the users and save. So now when I click on new again and select bike, it only shows the fields we defined on the bike layout. Let me save this record and you can see that the detail page also shows the same fields. Now imagine this again. What if you want the look and feel of the entire page to change and not just the fields that are shown based on the record type. So what you do then is you create a new page because the look and feel of the entire page has to change. You create an entirely new page using app builder. Give it a label. 
select the object select a template and add the components that you want and now when activating it instead of choosing it to be the app or the org default you can choose the app record type and profile option which lets you first choose the app on which this page is applicable next you can select the record type for which this page is applicable which is bike and then finally select the profile you can review your changes and save and now when you go back you can see your new bike detail page that you've just created and let's say you go to the car record you can see that it is the older one that we created previously now let's see how we can add new buttons to be shown here on the detail page these are called quick actions to create one let's go back to the object manager and click on buttons links and actions There are different actions that you can create. Some of them are standard. And if you would have built a custom component using Lightning Web Components, you can launch those too. For now, I just want to quickly create a case for this vehicle. So I'm going to choose create a record. Select the case object and give it a name. And then I'm going to choose the fields that have to be shown on the create form. Once my action is created, I go back to the app builder and select the highlights panel because that's where the buttons are. And in the list of actions, along with the edit and delete, I'll also add the new create a case action. So now once I go back to the detail page, I can see the new button. And once I click that, I can create a case. I mean, you can always go to the related list and click new and create a case, but this one saves clicks. There is one more customization that we are left with. The color palette that you see here, that is the background color of the page, the background color of the header, the link colors, all of them are Salesforce themed. But if you want to change it based on customers branding, you can do that too. So from setup, you simply go to themes and branding. And here you'll find many themes that are there out of the box. You can create new ones and configure the colors and images based on your need. I've already created one called Pulsar Bold. And let me activate it to see how it looks. And there you go. Just navigate to any app and you'll see the new branding in effect. So to quickly recap what we have seen in this video, first we created list views, then we created new pages using the app builder, then we created record types and assigned different page layouts to each of those record types. And then we created quick actions and again added them to the layout. And finally, we created our own theme and applied it to the Salesforce Park. And that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please let me know your thoughts and reactions in the comment section on YouTube. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section as well and I'll answer them for you. This video is hosted on the Salesforce Developers YouTube channel, which has a ton of great content like intro videos, deep dives, quick takes, code live sessions, and many more on various topics on Salesforce that can help you level up your skills. So please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notifications whenever we roll out new content.